Living in Los Angeles, the worst traffic in the universe. Although the city's trying to deal with it now, LA has announced they are spending millions of dollars to develop the world's first smart freeways. They're going to put sensors into the surface of the road and sensors into the vehicle. You're going to be able to get into the vehicle, call out your destination, and the vehicle's going to take you there. Yeah. Sort of like the bus. See, with all the road rage, L.A. is the exact wrong place for this technology. You allow drivers on the L.A. freeways to take both their hands off the wheel, and they will just move up to larger weapons. <laughs> but then again, at least all the dead drivers will keep moving. <laughs> Still better than the information superhighway, the Internet. Technological marvel of marvels, but if you don't know what you're looking for on the Internet, it is nothing but a time-sucking vortex from hell. Three and a half hours later, I'm stuck on some fifth grade class in Missouri's website. <laughs> Little bastards are going through my credit card history. <laughs> I am not a fan of the information age, though. I have enough information. I'm so well informed that I can't enjoy a damn thing anymore. I order a hamburger. As soon as it gets there, I start thinking if the mad cow or the E. coli or the salmonella don't kill me now, the cholesterol will later. <laughs> Try on a pair of Nikes. Start visualizing all their Asian workers making 12 cents an hour. Although, you know, in Nike's defense, if you are willing to work 80 or 90 hours a week, it adds up. <laughs> well, that's why I refuse to buy Nikes, unless they're on sale. <laughs> if they're not paying full wages, I am not paying full price. Power to the people. And even a simple cup of coffee. Now, that's my last vice. I love coffee. I like the smell. I like the taste. I like the buzz. It's cheap. It's legal. That's all the information I need about coffee. Now they're trying to scare me about the caffeine, telling me it'll take six months to a year off my life. You know, I really don't care if the caffeine takes a year off my life. I figure I spent more of those hours awake. It's probably a wash. And there's also a lot more bad information in the information age. You don't know half the things you think you know. Smokers, how many times have you been given this information? Every cigarette you smoke takes seven minutes off your life. Do you know the basis of that statement? Some guy in a lab coat calculated that it takes you seven minutes to smoke the cigarette. <laughs> By that logic, every time you're sitting on the can, it's the same damn difference. <laughs> If you're sitting on the can smoking the cigarette, you break even. <laughs> Enough Marlboros and x lax you can travel back in time. <laughs> of course, now they're trying to tax the poor smokers to death. That doesn't bother me. I'm a non-smoker. Sometimes I think we ought to just eliminate every other tax out there and make it 185 bucks for a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> I know smokers, you think that's unfair, but I guarantee the smokers that the government would cure cancer then because they would have to keep the smokers alive. 